So I've simply got 110 volt hot box on off switch. We've then got the thermostat, that is set at zero at the top, so that when you're working normally up on your high pressure, normal high pressure not onto steam, you'd run that between 60 to 90 degrees. So that would be up to the top. What we'd simply do is if we're working at normal, you'd have your normal gun and lancing. So for instance, you've got this pressure washer here, which is a 6.5 nozzle, all your normal guns and lances. And if we're running on the Yamma, we'd be on a 4.5 nozzle with that machine. That's if we're working at 200 bar, 15 litres, or the 21 litre, 200 bar machine, your normal jets and your normal lances. When we're working on steam, what we do is introduce this lance here. And what I've simply got is different jet types. So that jet there is a 15 or 3 jet. So instead of being the jet sizes, we simply change them over. It's 25 degrees, 65 degrees, and they go in the top of the lid here. So if you're working, change the angle, different jobs, different spray patterns. What you would do is, you'd set the machine up, get it all up and running. What you've simply got there is... On the outlet of the pressure, what the boiler itself, you've got inlet and outlet. So what you'd simply do there, you've got your pressure washer, you take your pressure washer up as you would do normally, you'd then have a two three metre hose that goes to the inlet, to the right hand side of your boiler, and then you put your normal hoses, your steam hoses on the outlet side. You will then introduce a steam lance. Obviously this steam lance there, that is the one that we'd use when we're using up to 150 degrees steam. What you do to cheat on the Brendan, when you're working the unit itself, what we'd simply do is, we'd let some of the water out of the system, we'd, or turn the revs down. On this system we'd turn the revs down at this point here, on the throttle, so there's less water going through, setting the thermostat on the boiler up to 130. At that stage you would run it until it gets up to 130 and the boiler stops burning. You would then take full control of the system. You then turn the thermostat up to 150 fully and you turn the revs up on the engine to what you're requiring to work at. So then the system itself is working at the normal regu regular pressure. On the Honda petrol, what you'd simply do is you've got the prime frost isolation ball valve there. You would open that and crack it slightly instead of doing the throttle revs. You can do the throttle revs as well, but like I say, that's the easiest way. Let some of the water out of the system so there's not as much water going through the boiler. Same again, setting the thermostat. I mean, that's set at 130. So you'd have that set at 130 and then turn that up to 150 as well once it gets up to temperature again and take full control of the system from there on. If you're using the machine obviously what you'd simply do is you don't leave the system itself fully steamed up. This gun leaks so it lets a certain amount of steam out but what you're better off doing is coming back, turning the temperature down to 90 degrees, letting it run off to a certain amount cold temperature. Until that burner goes off, then you can turn the machines off. So full control of both the machines, so when you're cooling it down, you would then turn this off and you turn the thermostat to cool it down to total zero. Turn that fully down to zero. Your machine would still be on at this point, at the moment that is turned off, but we'd have that turned on and that boiler would keep running to put cold air in. That will then take us back to cold. The system then, you won't get burnt and scalded. You don't want that to happen. Just to simply cool the system down, it will then protect the unit itself as well. Like I say, you've got different jets in the top. Sometimes chewing gum removal, it's handy to have a 65 degree so you can move the wider angle quickly depending on what sort of type of work you're doing. Thank you very much, Q Services, Q Washers. One second, we've also got, which we've missed off there, 
You've also got your steam regulator valve underneath there to regulate the pressure as well on that machine and you've also got steam regulator on that machine as well to turn the pressure down slightly what you don't want with an O3 nozzle is that machine shaking erratically it means it's over pressuring so you want the smooth operating of the engines if it's shaking then you've over pressuring it thank you very much Q services